was talking to a young friend of mine just last week or so. Uh, he's been living without electricity for a few weeks. He hit some snags and whatever and couldn't make his bill. And, you know, my philosophy behind where we live is that we have absolutely minimized our dependence on uh, electricity and outside utility companies. And it's for that reason, so that when we do uh, experience financial difficulties, we're not compounding our problems by having overdue bills uh, build up. Uh, anyway, that conversation had reminded me that uh, uh, of this concept about an off-grid room uh, that I, uh, I know that I haven't discussed here. I've talked to a, a lot of people about it in the past, but it's not something I've ever brought up here. So I thought I'd take a quick minute to uh, discuss that with you. Uh, I should be out cutting wood, but my back says no, because uh, you might have asked yourself, why is this young, talented guy uh, got so much time to make YouTube videos? Well, the reason is I used to build motorcycles, and some uh, other young guys decided to run me down in the middle of the night, out in the wee hours, and uh, anyway, I took on some injuries, and I can still do everything I need to do, but I don't always get to decide when I'm going to do them. Uh, and speaking of things I do, uh, tomorrow night we're going to be starting a uh, little presentation on this uh, receiver that I've made, and over the next three weeks I've got real good little episodes coming up about the construction of this thing. Yeah. Nice little break over double barrel 410. Anyway, this isn't about that. It's about off-grid rooms and that concept, that philosophy. And I was discussing it with him. It wouldn't be that difficult. Now, granted, you've got to be a homeowner or something along those lines to really take full advantage of this concept. I don't know how much of this someone in an apartment could use, for example. But the idea is just that... Uh, you know, when you look into off-grid living, the first thing you do is look at your electric bill to see how many kilowatt hours you can use. Well, then you realize it's going to cost $87,000 to run my house on solar. And, you know, so the first step actually is to reduce your use and all of that. So it, it's not real viable for everybody to be able to do that. But something that is real viable for everyone to do is to build an off-grid room. You can build a simple 12-volt uh, solar rig to at least have some LED lightings in one room of your house so that you can maintain some sense of normalcy in a power out uh, scenario for whatever reason that the power is out. Uh, and the little 12 volt system is a great kind of starter kit uh, for learning about solar. I started there myself and I use uh, parts of that 12 volt system now as a permanent uh, charging station for a 12 volt battery that I use for starting the tractor uh, starting the generator that's in my off-grid system and uh, anyway so it's not like it's lost money even if you decide to go bigger you can find another use for it but the uh, idea of bringing in a small solar system into a house uh, just one room you know to run some LED lightings you can do that for a couple hundred dollars and it's you know that's not that big a bite for anybody uh, well I say that I don't know that but Anyway, the uh, idea is to make a single room in your house, in your dwelling, uh, where you can at least maintain some normalcy if things go bad. Uh, ideally, you'd have a wood stove in there uh, with a flat top for cooking. If you had the ability to bring in a little larger uh, solar rig, you could possibly run a small chest freezer conversion. Although, i got to be honest with you, we've been running a converted chest freezer for, I don't know, a couple years now. We hate it. Can't wait to get away from it. Uh, we will be going back to an upright fridge uh, at our first opportunity just because we're just tired of living out of this box. It's like camping forever, which is great if you like to camp, but really we don't. Uh, anyhow, uh, you can kind of use your imagination on this. It's just the idea of a self-sufficient room, you know, versus trying to make your whole place function like this. Just a small room where you can maintain some normalcy, some good survival. Uh, practice, uh, you know, in just one little part of the place. And, uh, well, shoot. If you've got any uh, questions about this, I mean, I've done, I've done big research on this and dug into it all the way, and that's just kind of the, the best I can do uh, for the, a minor presentation like this is just to discuss the highlights of it and the general concept. But if you've got any specific uh, ideas, comments, questions, uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments, and I will certainly address them. 
Thanks for watching. I will see you uh, tomorrow night, and we'll have a uh, look at um, hey, a little 410 receiver, double barrel breakover. I like this. It's cool. See you tomorrow night.